What is going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another brand new episode of the Mississauga Riptide franchise mode for NHL 24. If you haven't already scrolled down, hit that level. And in this one, we're finally going to start getting going again on this. I just realized I am far too close to my mic stand, so I'm probably causing a little background interference, and it's really screwing me up looking at either, am I looking at the camera, am I looking at the screen thing? It doesn't matter. That's just the way we're going to do things from now on, I guess. Anyway, so we played our first game. That was catastrophically bad. Uh, I did hear somebody said, go into your settings. Um, would it be in rules, I guess? Uh, someone had said, uh, once you scroll down, that I should take the uh, simulation... What is it? Sim, sim engine shot frequency and leave it at high. Someone said, put the sim engine scoring to high and the shot frequency to high, but... Uh, I think I'll leave the sim engine scoring the way that it is, but I think I am I am going to turn the uh, shot frequency back up to high. And we're going to see... Uh, what I think we're going to start doing is maybe sim the first period, jump in at the beginning of the second, because I want to try and get through as many games as possible. But I've been messing around with the sliders a little bit, and I really don't want to end up with too many, like, 9-5 games. I know that it's the it was the first game of the season, and I know that that's a big factor, but it's like... I, I know that, like, defense is optional at the beginning of the year. You know what I mean? But it's you, you, y'all know what I'm saying. Anyway, we're going to jump in. We're going to go simulate. We'll do times eight simulation here it, during these back-to-backs. Uh, I believe we have our backup goaltender, Annette, which is, I think it's Lucas Dostal. And it is all... No, it is Elvis Merzlikens. He's playing two games in a row. All right. But we are actually going to leave the... Uh, what I oh my god it's two nothing Anaheim already. Mersey is not off to a good start with this team, like not even, it's three nothing. This is absurdite, absurdite. Okay, we got a power play. Can we do something with it? It's a long power play too, and that's gonna kill the first period. Shots are twelve to nine in favor of the Anaheim Ducks, who are already up three to nothing in this game. That is absolutely catastrophically bad. So we're gonna jump on the ice. We're gonna try and get back into this. This is our first year. And we don't necessarily want to do well. We want to get like we want to get some good. Uh, we we want to get good draft picks and stuff like that. So I'm not overly concerned with winning games or anything. Look at that, D I forgot to change D Max number. Oh my god! And I can't even jump out of this right now because we already sim the first period. <laughs> oh man, those jerseys are looking fine though. Those are some fire jerseys. All right, all right. Remind me. You're not going to remind me because I'm just, I'm not doing, this isn't a live stream. I'm going to back up a hair from my microphone though, and hopefully I don't make too much noise. There, that should be a little bit, uh, that should be a little bit better. So we're going to dive into this one, and uh, we're going to hope that goaltending kind of calms down a little bit. Because that was just ridiculous. That was like far too many. That was a 14 goal game. We got five goals and we lost. So Maxi Pad Domi scored the first shot in franchise history. It was the first goal in franchise history and it was scored on the first shot. So Dmitry Orlov gets it over to Luke Shen. Gets it up to Domi. Maxi Pad stopping up. Uh, looking for somewhere to go. Whip it around behind the net. There's Jake the Snake DeBrusque. Back to the point. Shen with a shot off the back of his own player. Right through traffic. Nice stop. Nice stop. Okay. Debrus gets it back. Get it over to Orlov. Orlov was looking for Marchi, but he wasn't there. Okay, so we'll get that one back around behind the net. I'm looking for Marchi a lot right now. Get that one through traffic. It doesn't work, and there's Orlov. Orlov gets it back to Debrus. Debrus in front of the net with another shot that doesn't make it through. And we couldn't get anybody over on the other side of the net. That shot went just wide. All right, let's whip this one back. There's Jonathan March, so getting in front of the net and he can't do anything with it. All right, Cam Fowler's going to be able to get rid of that one up to Domi. And we got Dmitry Orlov back playing D over to Trevor Zegris. Oh, my God, and two huge saves by Merz Likens. And there's a big hit by Luke Shen, who takes another big hit there. Another stop by Mersey. Shen, it's loose. Get it away. Okay, Barrett Hayton's on the ice. We got the automatic line changes going, which is what I wanted. We'll get it up to Domi. He's pretty tired, so we uh, went back to Frankie, or not Frankie B. Kalorn, take a hit. You ain't getting into my zone that easy, buddy. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. There's J. Dick. Leads this team in points. Getting that one up to Domi. Domi needs to get off the ice immediately. Okay, I can see he's going towards the bench. He's going to the bench. 
There's Killer. Killer in the zone. Takes a shot. I don't know if Mersey got a save on that one. But we're in front. Mason McTavish can't get the shot through. And Dickinson picks it up. All right. Get that one back around behind our own net. And here we go. Toss that one up to Barrett Hayton, who almost takes a hit. That one does. Oh, my God. We're having such a hard time getting anything through. And that's going to be an icing. That's going to be an icing. That is unfortunate. Hello, Kappa. <laughs> I don't, I don't necessarily know how long these videos are going to be. I just kind of make them up as I go. J what? For what? What is that going to be? Obstruction on Andrew Kopp. Okay, so uh, we're going to go with the second penalty killing unit. I did not expect that. That kind of came out of nowhere. Okay. It wasn't me. I don't think. Let's take a... Yes, he was off the face off. He hooked him. What are you doing? <laughs> what an idiot. All right. All right, Jay Dick on that face-off. We're gonna be killing a penalty off. Hopefully this, uh, hopefully this fixes some of some of like the shift length and whatnot. We got Brandstrom on the second PK. There's an easy shot, easy stop. Just wind and fire. Get rid of that thing, and let's get those number threes on the ice right off the easy hop. Who am I? I'm Jason Dickinson. All right, Duke, Duke of Earl. We got Anthony Duclair coming down the ice. Henry Yoki Haru playing D. He's, he's looking for a feed right now, and he's not going to find one. Kalorn with a shot in front of the net. We got it back. Okay. And there is Yoki Haru just getting her down the ice. We're killing this penalty off like champions right now, and that's Oscar Lindblom, baby. Boom! Throws a late hit behind the net. It does not matter. And there is Christian Dvorak. We got Matt Roy on the ice as well. Easy little backhander, and Merzlikens with a save. We're going to throw it out. And Luke Shen's just going to toss her down the ice again. We've already almost got this penalty killed off. And there's Barrett Hayden. All right, we just got to try and play smart. So far, so good. But, oh, Mantha, you're lucky. Mason McTavish, boom, takes a hit from the side. That one's going to be offside if you try and enter the zone. Over to Frankie V. He takes a hit from Matt Roy, who gets it back. And, oh, my goodness, Luke Shen for Toronto. Oh, my God. I'm playing too fast and loose right now, man, but Mersey's having himself a miserably bad game. Mason McTavish puts home his first goal of the season. I don't even know if they've played a game yet, but this is not this is not a good start for Merzlikens. We got him out of Columbus going like, you know what, let's bring this guy's career back. So, fo yeah, push for offense big time. They've already got the number one uh, units back out, so I don't think... I, I don't think our, like, third or fourth lines have even, like, touched the ice yet. Here we go. Brandstrom backing off. Gets it across to Henry Okiharu. Toss that one up the middle to Domi. Domi gets it over to DeBrusque. Low shot on net. That one's... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I hate it when it does that now. You go for, like, low shot on net for a rebound. And it's, like, instead it just, you know, it's, it goes to some random person for you to control. And then you just throw random hits to nowhere land. Minchika, I don't know what the hell just happened there. There comes Tavo. Tavo in the zone. Gets it back. Nice block in front of the net. And there's Brandstrom. He loses it. But Marchie gets it up to Bastion. And they got a penalty coming. Jake DeBrusque. He's moving. He's moving. Ah, we got nothing. There was no way I was cutting across. All right. So, first power play of the game, as far as I know, for us, as Trevor Zegris goes to the box. We're down four to nothing just over halfway through the second period of this one. We got to get back in this game. We got to play better than this. Who do we got on the ice? It's Cop Dickinson and Warren Fogel. My guy, Warren Fogel. Here we go. Can uh, Dickinson win this face off? Yes, he can. So back to Roy. Roy, low shot on net. Oh, he just dove out of the way. There's Cop. Uh, back around behind the net. Gets it to Jason Dickinson. Dickinson gets it back to the point. Brandstrom gets that one across to Matt Roy. Who, again, throw a low shot on net. That one's in front. Oh, man. And there's Radko. Nice hit. Cop holds it in. Cop holds it in. Going for the cross creaser. And Matt Roy doesn't shoot. Fogel, not even close to what I just said to do. That one doesn't make it through. Brandstrom, through traffic. That one hit the goaltender. Stayed in. Get it back to the point. That didn't work. We got full pressure on him. And they're going to be able to clear the puck. That's no good for anyone involved. So, all right. We've already wasted half of this power play. Get it up to Dickinson. Dickinson, slowing up, gets it over to Warren Fogel. Fogel gets that one to cop. It was way offside. Man, all right. So who are we going with? Those are, that's, okay, second power play unit. Is that the same one? Yeah, Dickinson, cop, and Fogel. I think I need to mess with the sliders even more and turn up the fatigue effect, turn down the fatigue recovery because we're just like the same people are playing every minute of every game here. 
I, I have noticed Brandstrom is getting a lot of ice time right now. We'll get that one around to Cop. Cop picks it up in the neutral zone. Nicely done. Hold on to this thing. Uh, let's whip it around behind the net. Fogel's there to pick it up. Okay, get back out in front. Back out in front. Get it to the point. Brandstrom through. No, 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 no. You got wheels. I know you can get back in time. Mason McTavish. Uh, Shorthanded chance in that one. I believe Mersey got a piece of it. Cop trying to throw a hit. The game's not allowing it to happen. There's Cop on Vakanine, and that doesn't work. Roy behind the net takes a bit of a hit. And Brandstrom gets in front of that and forgets what skating is. Let's get it over to Warren Fogel. I don't think he has a shot so far. So we'll just take one, put it on Gibby, force him to cover that thing up. So they want to put uh, line two, defensive pairing two. I'm gonna mess. I'm gonna mess with the settings a little bit for a second here. Boom! What a hit! <laughs> so Andrew Kopp and Matt Roy actually lead the league in hits currently. It's only the second game of the season. It's a heavy hitting team we got here. This is actually a pretty big team we got. Okay, that one gets back to the point, and Kate Middleton. Just can't do anything with that one. There's Roy. We got to back off, though. Keep backing towards your own zone. We got Middleton. He's got Leo Carlson coming in on him. Tries to get the pass across. Nice little poke check. Cop. Okay, we're in front of the net. And that one was too easy. Where was the D on that? Middleton, where were you on that, dude? That was terrible. It is 5-0 right now for Anaheim. But it's not all on me. It was 3-0 when we jumped into this one. But this is a bad... We have a bad team. We're not good. Like, offensively, this team is terrible defensively we're supposed to be good but we've also got bad goaltending so i don't know man i nate bastion can't win that face off there's beck malenstein over on the side he can't get anything done okay middleton don't chase too much just kind of try and stay out in front of your own net let him take a bad shot mersey's going to cover it up and hold it so we got the fourth line out second pairing i don't know in these games too does it just like well, it's certainly not doing matchups because their number one line is out. So this is one of those, if we can get a hold of this puck, get it to center and get rid of the damn thing. I bit. I didn't mean to do that. All right. It's all right. We tied him up. We tied him up. Lindblom gets it back. Toss it around behind your own net. There's Roy. Okay. Let's get this one up the boards to Nate Bastion. Getting around his man. Oh, Bastion's in, baby. Bastion's in. Oh, he got caught up on his own freaking player. Malenstein didn't even try to stay out of the way. All right, so they're just, yeah, they're just going to dump that one down the ice. Middleton gets her back. Middleton, he's going to find Lindblom. Lindblom, back feed to Bastion. Bastion into the zone. Turn him back. Turn him back from turning back. All right, back around behind the net. Malenstein can't get there. Lindblom, boom! There's a cross check probably. <laughs> no, they're not going to call a penalty on that. But Orlov and Shen are back on the ice. Zegers to Terry. Big save. It's loose in front. And no one ever goes for the damn puck. There is Dmitry Orlov. Up to Jake DeBrusque. DeBrusque hits Bastion. Bastion, the fourth liner. Coming down the ice. Get that one in front to Orloff. Throw it on that big save by Gibby. And he's going to be forced to cover that one up. So we're back to the number ones again. The ice, time, the ice time in this game could be tilted like really badly. Because it's been like all top line so far. I think the only thing that's going to save anyone is probably like any kind of simulation that we do. Orloff. Over to Shen. Okay, back to Orloff. They're not really giving us much to look at here. Throw it back to DeBrusque. To Domi with a shot. Low shot. Gibby with the save. I really thought he was going to play that, but he didn't. All right, come on, Domi. Offensive zone draw. You have been decent on faceoffs. There we go. All right, so toss this one a little deeper over to DeBrusque. DeBrusque around behind the net. Marchi wasn't there for it, but he got it now. Marchiso was supposed to be our superstar. He was supposed to be the answer. The new Iverson, he still got it. Goes for the shot. Through traffic, gets it away from Radko Gudis, and he stole it. Uh, someone, anyone near the net. Okay, back to the point. There's Orloff through a screen. That didn't make it very far. Shenner got it back, and then there's Domi. Domi cross crease that didn't go across the crease, and now nobody can pick it up, and Gibby gets it. Okay, so let's go with that second line. I know the game likes to uh, likes to decide for you who's going to be on the ice, but we're going to go with the second line on this one. I just hope I don't end up like wrecking my controller because I kind of feel like I'm going in that direction right now. Like it feels very loose. Cop Dickinson Hayton, second line on the ice, big face-off win. Back to the other point guy. Uh, we need we need you need to get away from me a little bit here. Mantha, are they going to be able to get it out? Yes, they are. Okay, let's get on side. Here's Luke Shen. Luke Shen just trying to find anyone. Just anybody here, man. Okay, we got Barrett Hayton going for a hit on Mantha. That doesn't work. 
Mantha, where are you going with this? Th oh my god, it's like in freaking impossible to take anybody off the puck here, man. And here comes Johnson with a shot. T touched by Merzlikens. But he did not do a very good job. I think the game put him into both. I think it put him into the back-to-backs. So the shots are 21-18 to 18 for the Anaheim Ducks. After two, they're one for one on the power play. We are 0 for three. So we got outshot 12, or 12 to nine in the first period. And the shots were nine apiece in the second. Mason McTavish has a two-point night. We're down five, nothing. But through one period of play, we're essentially down two, nothing. Mersey allowed two goals on nine shots. That was a really nice goal, but Middleton had to have that. That was all his to have. So put 20 minutes back on the clock, as always, here at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California, where we just want to get on the board. I don't care how many wins we get this season. This isn't, that's, that's not what we're here to do. We're not here to win games this year. Shen gets it up to Domi. Domi in the zone gets it knocked off him very easily. And here comes Trevor Zegris. Zegris into the zone, backing off. Just gets in front, takes a shot. Easy save by Mersey. Get it back to Orloff. Whip that. Why did you leave the... I do a bank pass up the ice and he swerves to the right away from the puck. It's like, what are you doing? Oh my God. So another defensive zone draw. Come on, Domi. Again, like I said before, he's been relatively solid on the faceoffs. That one goes wide of the net. Zegris, I knocked him off the puck. Whip that one back around behind our own net. Domi gets it across to Schenner. Schenner up to Marchi. Signed a big freaking contract with us to stick around for a couple of seasons. Table, watch the sticks, man. Tavo, we tried to hit him from behind. Shenner, you got to get a hold of this thing. Shenner, you got to get a hold of this thing. Oh, my God. Shenner. <laughs> All right, here we go. Orlov. We're going for DeBrusque, man. We're going for Brusky. Gets around his man. Big shot. Nice stop by Gibby. All right, Domi. Gets that one across to Roy. Roy threw a screen. All right, DeBrusque. Oh, he went for a freaking... Oh, yeah, Gudis is going to be, like, impossible to take off that puck. Because he's just like a... They make him just a chunky boy in this. Orloff. We got Terry coming in. He's on a bad angle. He's going to go for a backhander, and it's not going to work. Dickinson gets it across to Domi. Domi. Toss that one way over to Barrett. Hayton, we're in the zone. We're in deep. Get it across. Dickinson. What a save by Gibson. Come on. <laughs> Barrett Hayton, watch your man. Don't let the pass come through. All right. Backing it off to Killer. Killer in the zone. Takes a shot through a bit of... Uh, Self goalie screen there that I probably shouldn't have done. Barrett Hayton up to Andrew Kopp. Kopp in the zone. Toss that one backwards. Okay, Roy's got it. Back it off to Hayton. Hayton. All right, we're just trying to find some room here. Threw a screen. Oh my God, this goaltender is seeing everything. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? There's Matt Roy. He's got Radko coming down the ice. Radko Gudis. We're just trying to take some passes away. Nice stop. Get this thing gone. Mersey, cover it. Cover it, cover it, cover it, cover it. Holy crap. This is the first time DMAC has been on the ice since we jumped into this game. And the face-off win goes to the kid. Get it to DMAC. DMAC. Up the ice to Christian Dvorak, who takes a trip. All right. <laughs> and our second power play. There you go. Anchorage ice legend Pavel Minchikov. Going to the penalty box for tripping. And as soon as DMAC touches the ice, he is immediately, I believe, back off the ice. Unless he's... I don't think he's over on that side either. Can we win the faceoff? Yes, we can. Roy gets that one across to Branstrom through traffic. Again, I don't know how the goalie saw that one. Here we go. Right in front. Get it across. Cop. That was like such a wide open net. It's not even funny. Okay, get that one around. Another cross creaser. And Cop puts it home. There you go, baby. Andrew Kopp on the freaking power play puts home his first of the season. So we're going with that third line. We're going with that second pairing. I don't give a care, man. We got to get D-Max some ice time here. He hasn't seen the ice the whole damn game. But look at this. Dickinson still leads this team. I think he's got three points in two games now. But I don't know who else touched this. All I know is, yeah, Jay Dick leads this team in points. Barrett Hayton's got a couple of points as well. But DMAC on this faceoff, he's got Born Leader as his X Factor. That might be a mistake if he ever scores a damn goal in the National Hockey League. This could be catastrophic. And here comes Tavo. Nice little stop. Oh my God, where is my team here? Holy crap, I wasn't even controlling that defenseman. That was just brutes McGoots, man. 
All right. All right, we got it back. We got it back. Middleton, get rid of this thing. There's Warren Fogel stopping up. Get it up to Christian Dvorak. Don't you trip me. Don't trip me here. All right, we're going to turn back. Uh, get in front of the net. Just take a shot. That one goes wide. There's Roy. Get it across to Eric Brandstrom. And Fogel. That's probably a penalty, isn't it? I don't think it is. It wasn't. Okay, getting around the net. D to the max. Still holding on to the puck. Gets it not to Dvorak. Gets it back to Brandstrom. Brandstrom looking for a bit of a screen in front. McDonald with the almost rebound. Couldn't get there. Get that one a little deeper. D-Mac picking it up behind the net. Uh, just cut in front. Take the shot. Nice stop. Dvorak couldn't get the freaking... Oh, man. I was going for a rebound. I couldn't get the rebound on that one. We got our fourth line on the ice. The third pairing should be coming out anytime. If, if this is not already the third pairing. There's Branahan. Uh, just trying to get this thing out of the zone. Trying to get it out of the zone. There's Lindblom. Bastion. That's a penalty. Of course. Of course it is. Ryan Strom. Boom. Take a hit from Matt Roy. And now we got to... The thing is we got to start killing these penalties. My God. Nathan Bastion. I'm not surprised. Nathan Bastion goes to the box. I'm not happy about it, but I'm not surprised by it. Matt Roy now officially leads the NHL in hits with seven hits in two games. It's a 5-1 to one deficit. Luckily for us, since we jumped into this one, Mersey has been pretty damn good. You know what? We do not have the luxury of being able to just clear this thing, so take the shot. Nice stop. Cop, back to the point. Luke Shen tries to wire that one. It doesn't work. Roy is very tired. We got a very tired defender right now. He's trying to get around me. He's trying to get around me. Pass over to McTavish. Big save by Mersey. And yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get some rested fellas out here, man. So, uh, how much time is left on the clock? Like I said, all I wanted to do was essentially just get something into the net. We got a minute 20 to go on this penalty kill. Damn it, I bit again. I'm so bad for that. Brandstrom in front of a Toronto. That one gets knocked off him by Brandstrom. Okay, that one goes off the post. Knock him off it. Knock him off it. Or don't knock him off it. Okay, Middleton gets it back. Toss this one ahead. There's Barrett Hayton. That was almost on net. <laughs> There's Jay Dick. Boom! Throws a hit on Duke. Hayton, boom! Throws a hit on Killer. We're throwing lots of hits here, but here comes Mason McTavish. Use that defensive skill stick. Doesn't make it through. And Mersey's got to hold on to that one again. We're going third uh, third PK for just the third everythings. We're just wholesale third everythings. D to the Mac on the PK right now. The 18-year-old on the penalty kill. Second overall pick. Doesn't bite on the faceoff, but still doesn't get the win either. Fowler, big block, and that one's out of play. Okay. Okay. Defensively, I've noticed we are doing a little bit better in this one. Everyone still seems to be kind of like all over the map right now. But I think that's just kind of normal. d kind of tired, though. 27 seconds to go on this one. Gets the face-off win. Nicely done. Yoki, throw that one around the net to Lindblom. Oscar Strong, baby. Toss it. Whoop. That didn't work as planned. And then Renee Zellweger pretty much gets it back. Mason McTavish, a big bull of a player as well. Hard to knock off this puck. Just kind of gave him a free entry into the zone there. This penalty is over. We got our man back. Bastion down the ice. Loses it immediately to Cam Fowler, and here comes Frankie V. Frankie V takes a shot through a screen. Mersey with a save. Get it back out. Back to Domi. Okay, we got the number ones back on the ice. We're going to get it over to Johnny Marcheseau. Marcheseau in the zone. Gets it across to Domi with a shot. The rebound, and Oscar Lindblom puts it home, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. So we're going to lose this game. I blame the simulation because now, if we were going based on just how we've played since we started... This is a tie game. This is a 2-2 game in the third period. So I don't... So what was it? Marchessault got an assist on that, I believe. I believe Marchi got an assist on that one. Jonathan Marchessault has a point this year. Maxi Pad Domi with two. Marchi's got... I want him to put up a ton of points. Like I said, he's got a big cap hit. We actually went kind of to the cap on this team. I think we have like 5 mil in cap space. There's DeBrusque. Goes for the low shot on that. That could be a penalty. Marchi, I'm telling him to go for the rebound, and instead he, like, starts trying to, like, destroy people. <laughs> oh, man. Am I going to comb through this enough to actually, like, enlarge that so everyone can laugh at me? Maxi pad? No. Can't do anything with that one. There's Marchi trying to hold the zone. Minty, I almost got it from him. 
Here we go. Henry Yoki Haru's back playing defense. They're just going to dump that one deep. We got it. Yoki, whip it around. Get that one over to Maxi Pad. Maxi Pad. That was bad. I should have seen Carlson sitting there from a mile away. Carlson in the, in the zone. No, damn it. Ryan Strom with the rebound. I just couldn't get control of Henry Yoki Haru fast enough. And it's officially a 6 to 2 game. Mersey has been playing miserably bad since we picked him, since we got him. I was really hoping to turn this boy's career around, and it's not looking like that's going to happen anytime soon. Six to two. This is a rough one, dude. All right, Domi with the face-off win. We'll just get that one up to DeBrusque. Get it into the O-zone. Uh, whip it around the net. He takes a little bit of abuse there, but Marchie's there to pick it up. Gets around his man. Cuts in front. Oh, we almost got the shot off. DeBrusque kind of did get the shot off. And we're going with that second line. We only got 3.53 to go in this one. Hopefully the simulation is better to us as well uh, after this game is done. And then starting in the next game, maybe we can put up like a win. Would be nice. <laughs> it would be nice to get a win. Toss that. Oh, that didn't make it. Just toss her deep. Dickinson not going for the puck. Tries to knock Gudis off it. That's going to be a tough uh, That's going to be a tough sell. Trying to knock Gudis off the puck. Even though he's miserably, abysmally bad puck control. Here comes Schenner. Tries to get the pass across. All right, all right, all right. Zucker in front. Oh, my God. Where is my defensive partner? Shen, where are you, man? Oh, my God. Leo Carlson, first career goal in a 7-2 game. 100%. I'm on my side watching my guy. Luke Shen is, like, staring off into nowhere, doing absolutely nothing, man. That's brutal. Hold the skip. I don't care about his first goal. <laughs> I can't believe how, like, brutal of a turn this took, man. This is insanity. All right, here we go. Seven to freaking two. What do we got? All right, Dickinson. We got Gudis. Couldn't take that one off of Duke. Okay. Oh, my God. And it's like the, when they keep backing up like that, too. It's like that hurts you. Get that one up to Cop. Cop up to Barrett Hayton. Barrett Hayton in the zone. We're just going to take the shot and hope for the best. Can he hold the line? Yes, he can. Get that one over to Orloff. Orloff shoots through a screen, and Cop almost gets the rebound. Damn, man. We're going to go with that second pairing, and we should probably go with the third line a little more. Like I said, we didn't see any of the third line in that second period. A lot of dudes on this team are getting high up on the hits leaderboards. And again, after this game is done, I'm going to have to go through... Uh, certain settings change the way certain things feel. Roy looking for his man across to Vorak with a nice shot right off the draw. And another stop by Gibson. Minute 22 to go. Third line, second pairing. If we could even just put one more in. Give me like Warren Fogel's first goal of the year. Or D-Max, what would it be his first career goal, I believe. We're going a 7-2 game. So, again, like I said, without the simulation, this is a 3-2 Anaheim game. I said before, we are a bad team. I, I know this is true. Duke just tosses it home. What is happening? The thing is, you have to try and hold them to the outside. This is getting, like, ugly, dude. This is getting really ugly. We got, like, Merz Leakins cannot be in the net for the next game. And I'm 90, it's been a couple of days since I played this. I'm 99% sure that it's Lucas Dostal, who's our backup. Could you imagine if he won the starting job, like, immediately? There's Middleton, backing off. Over to DMAC. DMAC, whip that one over to Matt Roy, who gets freaking held up by his own guy. Loose in front to Dvorak. Can we get him to play it? Yes, we can. Let's just get this damn game over with. Fogues shoots that at nothing behind the net. Steals it away, then doesn't steals it away. Then steals it away and doesn't steals it away. Mantha coming down the ice. Come on. Yeah, somebody throw a hit on somebody. There's Roy. Walks in at a bad angle. Mersey still, for some reason, in the net. Zegris throws it off his own man. Uh-oh, we got one defenseman. And it's Middleton. All right, Mersey, play this thing. All right, let's... Uh, who do we want to go? Yeah, we'll go to Fogues. Fogues enters the zone. I was hoping he was going to be able to get that one across, but it didn't work out that way. Right out in front. Middleton's got it. To Bastion with a shot. Gibson with a say. Oh, I thought that, like, the clock was done, man. We're going fourth line. We'll go third pairing. We'll just get, like, the... We'll get the bottom six guys out there. I've said it before, and I will say it again. They're like, this is a... This is abysmally bad. 
this is an absolutely atrocious showing by this team. Bastion's like never going to win a faceoff in his entire career. Malenstein just throw that against the boards. Really bad loss, man. Really tough loss. And it was like all in that third period. That seemed to be where we really fell apart. Man, so what, okay, what are, what are the stats look at the end? The final shots, 38 to 35 in favor of the Anaheim Ducks, who went one for two on the power play. We went one for four. So we're going to take a peek, see who did what here. We didn't score a single goal until the third period. It was Andrew Kopp's first goal by Jay Dick and Matty Roy. And then Oscar Lindblom gets his first of the season by Maxi Pad and Jonathan Marcheso. So let's go home. <laughs> we're gonna you know what we're gonna screw around a little bit here and we're gonna see uh see what we like so who do we got we got the st louis blues next and that is an at home game at the paramount fine food center and i, I kind of feel like you gotta throw uh i, I kind of feel like you have to throw dostal in that i can't believe i i think part of the reason part of the problem there too was the fact okay dusty wolf he played a great first game for uh, Mississauga. What's our what's our uh, second team again? What are they? I can't even remember what they are. They're bacon. <laughs> the Niagara Falls Aces. <laughs> where Yesapul Yarvi is leading the parade. All right. Hold on a second here. All right, so that was an absolutely catastrophic showing in the second game of the regular season. Now we're going up against the St. Louis Blues. We've got Lucas Dostal in the net, or at least we freaking better. We're going to simulate the first period, see how that feels, and we're just going to go from there. So here we go. Let's dive into this. Let's dive into this puppy here. We're 0-2-0. Oh, oh. That's not... It's not the worst thing in the world. We are going to simulate the first period where St. Louis is heavily out shooting us, but Andrew Kopp actually strikes first on our only shot of the period. There are a lot of... This is a heavy shooting game right now, and it's tied. Torupchenko puts one past Lucas Dostal to tie it up 1-1. One, one. It's now 2-1. to one. Jason Dickinson puts it past Jordan Bennington. Now it's tied at freaking two. Braden Shen puts it past Lucas Dostal. And the shots are 13-7 in favor of the St. Louis Blues after one. Let's dive in and hope to God we can at least just get some goaltending and maybe even put up our first ever franchise victory. We are 86-90-80. and 80. That is our overall. With them, they're 91-91-86. and 86. This is why we're losing all these games. It's because every team that we go up against is substantially better than we are. Like, we are, especially offensively, we're not a good team. But what surprises me is we're not a bad team defensively. We just, like, everything seems to be going in against us. DeBrusk over to Kairou. Kairou's walking in. We got Orlov back. That one goes wide of the net. Who's going to get there? Domi's going to get there. Whip it around behind his own net. And there is, oh my god, Luke Shen. Going up against his brother's team, Braden Shen. And there's Maxi Pad Domi up to DeBrusque. Back in our own zone. Okay, we are having to get a little on the sneaky side to try and get away from our own end. Nice little hit on Pareko. Okay, Orloff, you got to back away now. Oh, I kind of I kind of thought he was going to steal that one away. Robert Thomas can't get her done. Gets it up to Jake DeBrusque, who gets it knocked off. And Shen's there. Tries to get that one up ahead again at St. Louis is holding us off the puck very well right now. Marchi, boy, he blocked the pass, but he couldn't do anything against Booch. And Orloff just keeps skating backwards into your own net. Okay, Orloff still got it up to Marchi. Can Marchi get some room? Marchi with some room. Drop feed to DeBrusk. Nice stop. We got it back behind the net. Right out in front. That one doesn't make it to our man. All right, back it off. Uh, DeBrusk through traffic. That one doesn't make it. Braden Shen to Orloff. I told you to go for a one-timer. You did not listen to me at all on that one. And here comes Jordan Kairou up to Jake Neighbors. Like I said, hold him to the outside. Hold him to the outside. That's the number one thing. There's Orloff getting that one up to DeBrusk. Jake DeBrusk tosses that one across to Marcheseau. Marcheseau into the zone. Just going to get an easy shot off. That was an easy save, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to back it off. Oh, no. Orloff wasn't there. Oh, Orloff is like all kinds of nowhere to be found right now. Neighbors to Letty. Letty with a shot. Nice stop by Lucas Dostal. Throw the hit, get it around the net. We got to get a line change going here. And home line changes are manual. <laughs> Orloff around behind the net. Gets a hold of that one. Marchi can't get it back. 
We need a line change desperately. Okay, hold on. I'm going to change lines. I'm going to change all the lines. Domi, get that one up to Shen. Shen tosses it up towards center. At least we got a couple new guys on the ice. There's Jason Dickinson with the hit. And there's Middleton. Wheels with a shot. Nice stop, nice stop. Okay, so let's get this thing around the net. Let's get it out of our own zone up to Barrett Hayton, who holds on to it. Into the zone, into the zone, into the zone. What do we got? JJ. Oh! Barrett Hayton puts in his first. Oh, baby! <laughs> first of the season for Barrett Hayton. I got to change those settings. I got to change those settings. I want to watch this replay first. But Barrett Hayton with his first of the season. I No, I was going to say gives us our first lead in franchise history. But no, we went up 2-0 in the first game and ended up losing 9-5. Okay, we watched that replay. Uh, so I got to go into the settings. Whoops, I don't want to hit. I don't want to hit quit. I got to go into the settings, and I've got to. I do this every single time. I forget. Is it in game settings? Yeah. So line changes. We're gonna go auto. Yeah, auto, because it did seem to work a little better the last time. Like when we did it in that last game, they're calling a timeout. So is everyone? Everybody's like fully rested then. Okay, that's fine. That works for me. Why is Dimitri Orl... Okay, league leaders in hits. It's Philip Dano who leads the league in hits. So this second line has been incredibly effective. And Lucas Dostal gets a goddamn point in his debut with us. Here's Brandon Saad. Sodder. You can't let them to the... In no, I'm not calling a timeout. It's like, you can't let them to the inside. I gotta be a little more aggressive on him, man. There's just far too much... Like, the scoring is too high when you actually jump into the games. That's what I'm finding. I'm finding the score's just too high. And that's really bothering me. Man. I wonder if we should almost do like CPU versus CPU and just like watch the games. I don't know. I think I'm going to try it that way. And I, I want to see what the result looks like. So, again, I know I keep pausing and this video is going to be forever and a day long. Um, would it be in... Where would it be? Would it be select sides, right? So if we do it that way, yeah. Okay, yes, we want to continue. Let's go. Uh, we're going to go audio visual settings. We're going to go to true broadcast, baby. Camera, I think we go this way. Yeah, true broadcast. There we go. So we're going to see what this team can do. Shots are 16 to 11 in favor of the St. Louis Blues right now. And we can't win that face off. There comes Giordano. Comes in, gets it to Hazer. That one goes wide of the net, and Dostal is like, f like just flattened right now. Dickinson just trying to get it out of the zone. It's not working. Geo, that one, he takes a hit. Hayton back to Dickinson. Just regrouping back in his own zone. I got no beef with that. Gets it over to Andrew Kopp. Kopp, bringing that one down the ice. He's just going to flip her deep. Flip her deep. We're doing some dump and look hockey. It's our favorite thing in the world. Maybe that's the way we'll just do this series. I don't know. I guess a lot of it depends on how the hits go, or the, how the shots go, how the score goes. I might have to mess around with the sliders yet again. But I don't mind the CPU versus CPU games. There goes Barrett Hayton. Again, just dumping it deep. But he's doing what the coach tells him, right? So that's their whole thing. It's like they just dump the puck down the ice. And then inevitably, no one goes for it. St. Louis gets it back. And they just like automatically get a good scoring chance. That one doesn't make it through. Barrett Hayton bringing her down the ice. And he's just going to dump it deep. But they are going for a line change at least. At least Hayton is being, like, aggressive. Oh, Booch, right down the center, gets it to Thomas. Oh, it's up in the air, and it ends up behind the net, and there's Luke Shen. Shenner gets that one up to DeBrusque, up to Hayton. Don't you do it! Oh, they just keep freaking dumping it! All right, all right, all right. At least we, we're being aggressive, okay? We were going for a line change, but everyone's backing off. It's like, what is the coach doing? Robert Thomas comes in, almost gets a chance. Luke Shen had to be sharp on that one. There's Orlov behind the net, the best defenseman we have currently. Gets it over to Domi. Domi gets it up to DeBrusque. DeBrusque over to Barrett Hayton, who is still on the ice right now. Hayton, reach for the damn puck, dude. What are you doing? There has not been a, like, there has been one shot on net since I made this CPU versus CPU. Barrett Hayton just refuses to get off the ice. And maybe this this will make things work a little bit better. We'll turn that game speed up a little bit. We'll see if we get a little more exciting hockey. Here comes Domi. Domi to DeBrusque. And we're going to the power play. 
DeBrusque have a really hard time with that puck right now, but the Mississauga Riptide have got a power play. Jake Neighbors with the trip going to the penalty box. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Now, can we get anything accomplished on this power play is a completely different question. I sure hope so. I just want to see something a little bit more realistic. You know what I mean? We, gotta, we, need, we need some Pepsi up in, this, up in this piece right now. So here we go. Offensive zone faceoff. Cannot win it. Sonny with the faceoff win. The controller is down. Maxi pad holds the line. Kicks her deep. Who do we got? We got D to the measle. In front of Domi. That one goes just wide of the net. All right. They're going to be able to clear it out. Oscar Sundquist is going to toss it deep into our zone. And there's that freaking number thief. D to the measle. He's just carrying it in. Carrying it in. The kid. The kid. Walks. Fires. Stopped by Binner. All right. All right. You have to, yeah, like 100%. The first thing I'm going to do when this game is done, I can't believe I forgot again, but as soon as this game is done, yeah, like the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go change D-Mac's number. That's like we just, we have to. D-Mac can't get the face-off win again. My goodness. All right, so throwing that one down the ice, and I think we might start like simming a game or two here and there. This is one of those like long-form franchise modes where it's like we just do a bunch of games and we don't really cut anything out. That is another penalty coming. There was an ice. But I don't know. Is that going to count as an icing? Because he got it slashed off of him. And Gio's going to the penalty box. So we got a five on three situation right now. Mark Giordano, Jake Neighbors, both in the box. What do we got, baby? And look at that. David. Oh, that was a bad. That was a nasty slash right on the hands of Maxi Pad. So it's D-Mac, Domi, and Marchi. Is what it says, but that's not who's out there. That's Dickinson. You are like fibbing to me. This thing's telling me lies right now. Tori Krug, short handed, brings it in. Sunfist gets it back, throws it to Falk. Falk over to Sonny. Sonny can't get the shot off. There we go. Roy. Roy finds someone to go to. There we go. Up to Andrew Kopp. Into the zone. Copper loses it. He's going to get him into the corner though, and he's knocking him off it. Kicks that one deep. There's Jay Dick. Jay Dick in front of Brandstrom with the one timer, and that was a nice stop. All right, here we go. The Falconator, he's just going to try and get rid of that one. Brandstrom with a dive. He's another one. Brandstrom, he needed a change of scenery. I know that he did actually leave Ottawa. Back to Brandstrom Dickinson. He's on the goal line. Come on, man. <laughs> right on the goal line, too. 3.30 to go in the second. Now we got DMAC, Marchi, and Domi. That is our number one power play. And I said, I didn't even change the special teams. That wasn't even me. I didn't do that. Here we go. D to the Mac wins the faceoff. Back to Orloff over to Domi. Big save by Jordan Bennington, who's going to hold on to the puck. Not going to toss it out. They are absolutely killing us in the faceoff dot right now. Yeah, and there's another win. There's another win for St. Louis. We held the zone. Oh, D Mac to DeBrus. Big save. We got the full pressure going right now, but Sauter is going to be able to get rid of that one. It's back into our zone. Orloff picking that up behind our own net. Well, not picking it up, but whoa, that was dangerous. What are you guys doing, man? Domi up to Marchi. Marchi bringing that one in. The superstar, Jonathan Marchiso gets that one across to Domi. Big shot, big save, and that one ends up going right through the freaking blue paint. All the way down the ice. Nice. That was a weird little tip there by him. I, uh, Jake DeBrusque. Jake Neighbors out of the box. Are we back to five on five? That's offside. I think we might be back at five on five now. All right, so Lucas Dostal has looked substantially better than uh, Elvis Merzlikens. We'll probably end up putting Mersey back in the net for the next game. We're getting close to the end of the second period. Can we pick this thing up? Yes, we can. There we go. Lukey Boy Shen bringing her down the ice into the zone. Where's he going to go with it, though? He's going to go nowhere. And wow, did he ever take a long time to recover. And there we go. Tanev. Chris Tanev gets it up to Braden Shen. Bringing her down the ice. For the St. Louis Blues, he's looking for somewhere to go. Gets it back to the point. There's Letty Wheeler. Nice passing here by St. Louis. We got to take this thing away, though. Tanev over to Wheels. Wheels in front of the net. That was blocked. Neighbors can't get the shot off either. And it's just pandemonium in front of the net. Tanev with a big blast, and that one's blocked. Shen, everyone's just looking for anywhere to go with this thing. And a big pass in front to Jake Neighbors, who puts it home. First goal of the season for him. That is unfortunate, man. That is unfortunate. It was a great passing play. The Blues were just outdoing us. Look at this. 
Passes it. Almost lost it just across creaser. And no one on our defense picked that up at all. I wonder if it has anything to do with our coaching as well. I've heard conflicting things from people. Some people saying that coaching is a big factor. It's a huge factor, especially in the simulation, blah, blah, blah. They're like an actual gameplay or whatever. Coaching doesn't matter the second you actually step on the ice. It means nothing. It's like, I disagree, though. I've had custom teams where we've had a bad coach and played bad. I fired the coach, got a better coach, and the team started playing better. Like, I do think it does matter. And it wasn't even like they, the fit was better. It was just like they started playing better. So the shots were relatively low in the second period. Uh, we messed around with stuff. The shots picked up towards the end. It's a 4-3 to three game. Second intermission. Let's see what happens. Come on, you stupid thing. Let's see what happens in the third. Look at this very quiet, very quiet Mississauga crowd right now. The main Mariners. What a gorgeous logo, eh? Maxi pad. Can't get the face off win. Jordan Cairo with that one. Like I said, I don't... Oh, what a hit. Booch Nevich. Nice stop by Lucas Dostal in front of his own net. Here we go. Dimitri Orloff. Booch gets it back. Back to the point to Krug. Colton Pareko walks in with a shot. That one's just wide of the net. Robert Thomas gets the rebound. And they're up to 20 shots on goal so far in this one. Back to the point. It kind of looks like they're just throwing everything at the net right now. Thomas in front of Pareko. They lost it and they cannot hold the zone. So the shots are now, what is it, 20 to 16? Huge hit. That was late. That was probably a charge. And we're about to be shorthanded. Lucas Dostal very fatigued at the moment. And Max Domi with the charging penalty. It was a huge hit. That was a monster of a hit, dude. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Maxi pad, you you naughty naughty boy. And oh yeah, it doesn't let me uh doesn't let me skip anything because I'm not actually controlling the game. Luke Shen definitely moving up the hits leaderboard. We got a lot of the dudes on this team, like right near the top of that hits leaderboard. So what's good? Nice, we got the face-off win. Middleton is going to clear it out. He is gonna get rid of it. So it's four to three for St. Louis. Oh, cop with the steal. Dvorak can't hold on to that thing though. Watch your sticks, man. Too active on the stick. Hazer in front to Shen. Big save by Lucas Dostal, who's looking, he's looking sharp so far. Dvorak's gonna whip that one and Verana is just gonna pick that one off like it ain't no thing. Yeah, Jakob Verana gets it up to Braden Shen coming through the center ice zone. Shenner. He's going to turn around. He's going to get it back to Falk with a long bomb. And that goes wide. They're taking it off us. And there's Eric Brandstrom. I hate that they just do the flip. It never leaves the zone. Sauter. Oh, my God. He walks right in. Okay. We need to uh, we need to get this goaltender a little more rested. Get rid of it. At least get it deep. Thank you. We've almost killed this penalty off, though. This penalty is almost over. Which it would be very big for this team if we could kill this thing off. Brandstrom gets it back. There's Barrett Hayton. Hayton gets it to Jay Dick. We're not clearing it. Eh, he didn't exactly hold on to it either, though. Jason Dickinson up against the boards. All right, here we go. Barrett Hayton gets it back and immediately loses it to Shen. Shen, come on. Into the zone. Play good D. Good D, boys. Good D. That sounded bad. Hazer with a bad angle shot. And Dostal's there for the save. Okay. Almost five minutes into the third period. Like I said, I know this is going to make uh, the videos maybe take a little bit longer, but it, it seems like... In our custom league franchise, I play just fine. But for whatever reason, in this one, it seems like... Ah, uh, and they're back on the power play again. It's Marchi. It just seems like I can't get the defense together, like, at all. You know what I mean? Like, the games are too long, and I just cannot seem to get the defense together. Marchi does not seem happy. He seems like a very unhappy guy. Look at that diving freaking block, though, eh? <laughs> So we got Lindblom and McDonald on the PK, on the ice. Let's not make this another ugly one. Because as it stands right now, this team has played three games and we have allowed 21 goals. Roy getting all tied up with his own guy. He's just going to whip that one and it doesn't even leave the zone. Booch across to Falk. Shot off the goal post. Back to Falk. He tries for another shot. That one doesn't work. Knock your man off it and go for the puck. Roy. Okay, Robert Thomas. Back to Kairou. Kairou back to the point. There's Falk again to Booch in front. Verana tries to take the shot. That's no good. Schenner, just get rid of it. Perfect. It's all the way down the ice, and Buddy's chasing it. Who's that? Lindblom. Boom! Goes for a hit. That was from behind, but it's okay. It didn't get called. 
Jordan Cairo bringing that one in. <gasps> Goes for the cross creaser. That was sketchy as hell, and Dostal did find it as it trickles towards the net. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Again, he can't even clear the zone. Hazard Assad, everybody. That is a big problem that EA still has not fixed, though, is the everyone is constantly on their backhand. Like, no matter what, they live life on their backhand. Orlov, oh, what a horrible play. Yoki was, like, nowhere to be found. Big save by Dostal. That one's back around behind the net. Schenner out in front for, uh, was that Hazer again? Jesus, that was a close one. Oh, what a hit. And they still, we cannot leave the zone. We're back to five on five. Kruger, back to Pareko with a shot. Nice stop by Dostal. They're really picking up the shooting right now because we cannot stay out of the box. Hazer, big glove save by Lucas Dostal, who has definitely looked like the better of the two goaltenders thus far. And it's like not close. Jay Dick leads the league in hits. He's my guy. I love Jason Dickinson. They got full pressure. We've got to get this thing out of the zone. We got the number one line out there. Hopefully they can get something going. Can't get the face-off win, though. Tanev can't get the shot. Wheels with the shot. That one's wide, though. Schenner back out in front. Oh, nice stop by Dostal. Hold on to that thing. They still got full pressure. Dostal has really held us in it at, at, up to this point. We're almost eight minutes into the third period. We still got our number one line out there. They got their number two line out there. But they got full pressure. If we can just get this thing out of the zone. We need to start winning. Thank you. We need to start winning some face-offs. Domi, get that thing up to Marchi. Marchi's gone, baby. Marchi's gone. Into the zone. Into the zone. Shoots. That was a low shot. Low shot on net. Can we hold on to it? Not overly. We tied our man up. It's back around behind the net. We're not going to be able to do anything with it, though. Letty gets that one to wheels. Wheels coming down the ice. We got a delayed penalty coming up again. This is absolutely bonkers. And Jake Neighbors can't get the shot off. It's Maxi Pad Domi with for obstruction. God. So again, we're killing off a penalty. This is our fourth penalty of the game. They have not had a successful power play yet in this one. Okay, get it to Dvorak. He's just going to flip that one out. At least it cleared the zone. That's all that matters. Pareko to Robert Thomas. Thomas, and it's five on three. Oh my God, the penalties are so out of control in this game. It's ridiculous. I'm playing this game. I'm playing the rest of this one. All right, we're back. We're back in the game now, baby. Christian Dvorak on the faceoff in the defensive zone. Five on three for the next forever. Brandstrom will get in front of that net. One-timer, nice stop. Branahan behind his own net. Picks it up, picks it up. Still got it. All right, get rid of it. Fine. Fine. We'll get rid of it. They got 30 shots in the game. There's Binner. Oh, I just almost threw a hit on Bennington. All right, we got to get back. Nice little poke. Nice little poke by Branahan. Back to Thomas. Thomas in front. Okay, stay in front of the net. Stay in front of the net. Stay in position. Sit back. Thomas tries to get that one across. Yoki pokes it away. Yoki did, takes it away, and we can't do anything with it. Never mind. All right, they're just, wow, they're dumping it on a five-on-three power play. Brandstrom behind his own net. Gets that one up to Dvorak. Dvorak gets it across to Yoki Haru, who's in. Yoki, partial break. Can't get the shot off. Damn. Get that pass across. There's Brandstrom. You got to start moving. Back to Yoki. Through traffic. Oh, nice kick save. Was that a penalty? No, it wasn't. They're still on the power play, technically. We got Brandstrom back, playing D, gets it across, and that was a close call. Maxi Pad back on the ice, throws a hit. That could be a penalty as well. And whip that thing up to Yoki Haru. Get it over to D to the measle. Fresh legs, baby. Fresh legs. Turn it back. Get it around the net. Around behind the net. Brandstrom hold it in. Why can't I control Brandstrom? Toss it back to D-Mac. D-Mac. One T by Warren Fogel. That's blocked. That one makes it through. D-Mac can't get there for the shot, though. Uh, I tried to take it off my guy. Did not work. We got Christian Dvorak, a very tired Christian Dvorak. Gets that one across. D-Mac picks it off nicely. Toss it up to Warren Fogel. Fogs into the zone. Oh, he's solo, baby. Just take the shot and Binner with a save. At least we hit 20 shots on goddamn goal here. Our third defensive pairing is dead to the world. And our next three games, what did it say? Buffalo, Carolina, and LA or something like that? I don't know, but... This is getting intense. We got seven minutes left. We could potentially force overtime and get our first ever point as a team. Beck Malenstein watching his man. 
They get they are able to get that one out, and that's Kasperi Kapanen coming in. Don't give them too much to shoot at, man. Shenner tried to steal that one away. Right, Orlov. Yeah, see, it's like it doesn't matter. They're just they're just dominating us. It seems like it just doesn't matter what you do. The defense seems like it's really flawed in this one. I don't get it. Like, I'm controlling one defenseman and the other guy is just kind of like doing figure eights. Just, just wandering around like he doesn't know what he's doing. It's very, it's very frustrating. Because it's like, I don't want to just sit there and do CPU versus CPU games because it takes forever and it's boring. Like, even I was bored. I was like, you know... Nate Bast, we need a fourth-line center that can win a draw, though. All right, here we go. Orlov's got Hazer coming in on him with a shot. Nice stop by Dostal. Boom! Throw a hit on him. And get it over to Bastion. Get it over to Schenner. Schenner up to Malenstein. Malenstein gets that one across to Lindblom. He's already got a goal. And we turn back. Lindblom with a shot. That one got through some people. Oh, Bast I told Bastion to go for a hit at the same time. Shen went for a hit on the same guy. Colton Perico benched. <laughs> Lay down, buddy. All right, Lindblom gets that one across to Orlov. Oh, we got Marchi on the ice, baby. There's Marchi, so. I was looking for a feed, and it was too damn late. Jake Neighbors looking for, looking for a direction here. Boom, he takes a hit. Marchi on Tanev. Oh, he's chasing him down. Kind of steals the puck from him, but kind of doesn't. Tori Krug. Boom. Throw it on him. Boom. Throw it on him. Okay, we're starting to beat them up a little bit here. Tanev's got Orlov coming in. He's looking for someone to pass to. Finds it with Wheeler. Braden Shen chasing his man. I'm staying on my side of the net. Staying on my side. Kruger over to Wheels. Wheels to Tanev. Uh-oh, that was bad. Neighbors with a shot. It was blocked. Get rid of this thing. DeBrusque up to Marchie. Marchie's still looking for his first goal. Gets it to DeBrusque, though. He's got a point, at least. Uh, they're, like, all over me. Holy crap, I'm only, dude. Throw that one back around behind the net. Toss it over to Andrew Kopp. Back to the point. There's Roy in front. Oh, deflected just wide. Marchie, back to the point again. Middleton, boom, with a shot deflected again. Copper holds onto it. Get on the other side of the net. Oh, DeBrusque can't get the one-timer. Uh, see, we're putting the pressure on him now. That's the worst freaking part. <laughs> We're putting so much pressure on him. Here comes Tanev. Tanev to Middleton. That one's blocked. It's loose in front. Roy is having a hell of a time with this thing right now. Uh, DeBrusque, you got no juice. Toss that one ahead. Barrett Hayton can't pick it off. Yeah, yeah, we got not. He's got nothing left in the tank, man. Take here. Take your man off it. Get it over to Barrett Hayton. Do we have any time? Can we get anything else going? Toss it across. DeBrusque is still on the ice. Over to Andrew Kopp. In front with a shot. Barrett Hayton with the rebound. That doesn't go anywhere. Is it back out in front? Back to the point. Roy gets it across to Middleton. Middleton waiting for a man to be in front of the net. And Barrett Hayton with the attempted one-timer that's no damn good. We'll go with the number one defensive pairing. We'll go with line two. It's been the only line that has gotten like anything accomplished for us. I swear to God we're going to start winning games at some point. I swear to God, we may even win some games. That's why I said when you go into, like, custom league, it's like, look at how often we've gotten, like, shutouts. Justin Falk looking for somewhere to go. We got Lukey Boy Shen. He's got Booch coming towards him. Knock your man off. This one's over. Delayed penalty for what now, man? Robert Thomas gets it across. It's a 5-3 loss, so this team still doesn't have a win. I think what we're going to do is we're going to sim the next game uh, we're going to see how everybody's doing. We're probably going to put Mersey back in the net. But it's like, we got to figure this defense thing out. We really, we got to figure it out. We got to get better for the D. Because it seems like once something goes in the net, it's like game freaking over. Final shots after we took the absolutely absurd number of penalties. Six penalties. The final shots were 37 to 25 in favor of of the St. Louis Blues. So even though he allowed five goals, honestly, Dostal wasn't that bad. Like, honestly, not that bad. So I know Copper had a big freaking game. Andrew Kopp got his second of the year by Jake Middleton and Barrett Hayden before Jason Dickinson got his second of the year by Andrew Kopp. And then Barrett Hayden got his first of the year by Andrew Kopp and Lucas Dostal before we allowed three unanswered, two of which... We're in the second period, one of which 
I was not in control when that happened. <laughs> so let's get back to the menu. This is this is sickening. I know it's it's all very experimental. I don't expect a ton of people to actually like make it all the way through these videos because they're relatively long. Ruslan Ishkakov uh, has been injured with an abdominal strain. Until October 27th. Head, head coach replaces player. He can put whoever he wants in there. So we're 0-3 right now. But Copper is above a point per game. Which I'm kind of surprised about. And uh, as far as I know, DMAC, yeah. Minus 2 still does not have his first point. Still does not have his first point. But Dostal has an 830 save percentage compared to Elvis Merzlik in 745. His goals against average is 12.15. That is catastrophically bad. So what we are going to do is we are going to sim this one. And then we're going to take like a little look at stats or whatever. And we are probably going to finish this one up. Uh, let's just do a times eight simulation. We'll see what happens. Maybe we could... Nope. First shot on Mersey goes in the net from the Buffalo Sabres. Wow. Yep. Not waiting long on this one, eh? All right. We're out shooting a team finally for once. But that could all change very quickly as well. So we're nearing the end of the first period. It's still just one nothing for the Buffalo Sabres. They are officially out shooting us 11 to 10. But again, like I said, it's only one nothing. That's not that bad. So here we go. We start the simulation in the second. And just like that, it's 2 nothing for the Buffalo Sabres. The Mississauga Riptide not looking so great right now. The shots are picking up a little bit as we hit the halfway point of the game. They should be 30-something to 30-something. 3 nothing for the Buffalo Sabres. It is J.J. Paterka putting that one on. We are still not on the board. We have allowed so many goals as a team so far. As we hit the third period, what is going to happen now? What are we doing? What are we doing? 4 nothing for the Buffalo Sabres. 5 nothing. <laughs> you got to think Mersey's out of the net at this point. I'm thinking Lucas Dostal could get the lion's share of starts as we get through this. Jay Dick puts one home with like no time left on the clock. The final shots, 32 to 30 in favor of Mississauga. We got one past Devin Levi. And you got to think Mersey was out of the net. After the Sammy Blaze goal, you got to think Merzlikens was out of the net after that point. So Jason Dickinson gets his third goal of the season by Andrew Kopp and Jake Middleton. And that is all we did in that game. That is all we accomplished in that game. Wow. I wonder what would happen. I wonder if it would make a difference too if I took the uh, period length down a bit. That might, that might actually... That might change some things. If I took the period length and put it down to like five minute periods, maybe we'd have like less... Like, in the actual games that we're jumping into, maybe we would have, like, less happen. But we're 0-4 so far. Jay Dick leading the parade. We Screw it, we're going to do another one. We're jumping into one more. All right, we got to put Dostal in net. Look at this. A 777 and an 870 goals against average in his first couple games. Dostal, not looking solid either, but he's been the better of the two, I got to say. We are we got a really, really heavy schedule to start, though. I have noticed. So what we're going to do is we're going to sim the first period. And then we're going to jump in and see what happens after that. Whoops. Times 8 simulation. When are we going to get the franchise's first win? You know? Oh, baby. Warren Fogle lights up. Freddie Anderson gets us on the board first. All right. So we're up one nothing in this game. One of the number one things we just got to get. It's the defense. We got to get better defensively. 100%. We got to get better defensively. Offense is not even that big of an issue. Like when we're jumping into the games, the offense isn't that big of a... It's not that big of an issue. The problem is <clears throat> the defensive side of it where Carolina is like insanely stacked, by the way. <laughs> what, an, what an absurdly stacked team they are. All right, so here we go. Jumping into the uh, final one of this. It's going to be a long one. All of these videos are like super duper long. So here we go. Maxi Pad Domi on that opening draw. And he's going to win it. Here we go. Orlov, get it across to nobody. And here comes Luki Boy Shen. Okay, nicely done. Nice recovery. Knocked him off it. Whip it around behind the net to Domi. Get it back to Marchi. Marchi, up to your man DeBrusque. 
DeBrus gets that one up to Luke Shen for some reason. Shenner holds on to it. Whip it on the net. Oh, that took a funky bounce. And DeBrus can't do anything with that one. All right, so it gets around to Jacob Slavin. DeBrus, we just got to get back into our own zone a little bit here. Domi playing decent. That was good. That was good. Can we get it up to Marchi? Oh, baby. Uh, but he got it knocked off. And DeBrusque knocked his thing off his guy. Man, bear, pig. I don't know. Shenner back to Orloff. Tries to, tries to get the pass across, and it's no good. We took it back, and we're going to the power play. All right, here we go. Andrew Kopp up the ice, and he's not going to be able to go anywhere with that one. All right, Shenner. Get it to your man, Barrett Hayton. And we got Marchi back on the ice. Marchi. I was going for a low shot on that Barrett Hayton with the rebound, and it's no good. We got a 20-minute power play, and our second unit is on the ice. So DMAC not going to be on the ice to start this pow this power play, but it'd be fantastic if we could actually get some kind of a lead going. So here we go, baby. Dimitri Orloff, 16 hits in five games. I like it. At a rate of three hits per game, I'm fine with that. So can we win this draw? We cannot win the draw. Warren Fogel, back, Pesci, Brandstrom knocks it out of the air and then, like, gives it away. Okay, we got it. Matt Roy takes it back, gets it over to Andrew Kopp, who is, oh, gets tripped up. It's a five-on-three. Just like that, baby. Just like that. It's a five-on-three. Uh, let's go with the number ones. Let's get DMAC on the ice. We got to try and get him his first career point. Unless he got one. But I don't think he did. And I still have forgotten to change his number. I still have not made DMAC number 26. So we won that one back to Jake DeBrusque. DeBrusque throws that one on net. <gasps> DMAC gets his first career NHL goal, baby! Woo! That's what I'm talking about, D to the measles. Number 31 for DMAC at the moment is kind of growing on me, though. It kind of feels natural. The, the fact that he was, you know what, he's a rookie. You can't just give him whatever number he wants. But we got to toss that puck over to the coach. He's going to tape it up. He's got no tape in his hands whatsoever. Great shot. And Marchie might have got a piece of that one as well. We definitely need him to pick his game up. But that one flies out. Little flick shot past Freddy. Boom. First career NHL goal. And boom. We got a 2-0 lead in this game. That is 100% what we wanted. And they're taking a timeout like they always are, and it was a five-on-three. Marchiso has two points this year. DMAC, one point. That was his first career point. It was his first career goal, and it was a power play goal. Can't win that second face-off. Domi, I really thought you were going to pick that one off. They're just going to dump her deep. Orlov gets in there, tries to throw a hit on his man. Okay, okay, here we go. Marchi gets it back. Back to Domi. Domi rushing down the ice. He's going to cut across. Ah, lost control of it. Domi throws a hit on Burnsy, but he's just too big. You're not going to knock him off it. And there's Stalzy. He takes the hit. Marchie's got it. He's got some wheels when he wants to. Stopping up. Uh, get it across. Nope. Got it across to no one. Marchie gets it back, though. Gets it back. Back to the point. Orloff. Get it. Oh, he lost it to freaking Sebastian Ajo again. Oh, can we knock him off it? It's still loose in front, though. Stahl gets there. Oh, 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 that was too sketchy. We're going with the power play unit number two. This first unit's not working. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Come on, Dostal. Have a good game, dude. It's like, don't let them back in. Don't let them in. Can we win this one? Nice. We got the face-off win. Fogues gets it across to Roy. Roy gets it up to Brandstrom. He's a defenseman. He's got some wheels. He gets it up to Jason Dickinson, who leads this team in points. Ah, I can't get the shot off. As soon as I wound up for the shot, knock him off it. We got it. Andrew Kopp. Andrew Kopp. Other side of the net. Dickinson in front gets the shot, and it's no good. Now that we're back in the O zone again, we use that line to get back into the offensive zone. D to the Mac, baby. Born leader. Zero hits. Okay, d -Max never thrown a hit before. Is that what you're trying to tell me? We got to get this thing over to Marchi. So we got to win this face off. We did. And Orla, no, Marchi's not open. Okay, we're going to rock that one over to DeBrusk. Right in front of the net. It's loose. d -Mac looking for that rebound again. That's the type of player d -Mac is, though. Likes to, likes to play right at that net. Likes to play right in front of the net. Oh, come right on. You are going to tell me that that's going in the net. You are honestly going to sit here and tell me that's going to go in. That was the most miserably pathetic goal I've ever seen. That was so bad. Look at this. Look at, look at how bad that is. That can't go in the net. 
That cannot go in the net, dude. Marty Natchez gets his third point. That is an unacceptable goal. Unacceptable goal. Unacceptable result. I, I will not stand for this. Boom. Brady Shea takes a hit. Domi is going to whip that one across. Uh, we'll go back to Domi again. Whoop. Can't hold on to it, though. Everyone just watch your sticks. Play smart. How did I not pick that one off? Orloff. Scott Nate is coming. Backhander. Nice stop. And we're going to hold it. I was going to toss it out, but the other guy just didn't get over to that side of the net in time. So I'm like, nah. <laughs> we better not risk it for the brisket here, man. Speaking of which, I'm hungry. I'm like really hungry. All right, here we go. Maxi pad, baby. Maxi pad. My boy, Maxi. Win me a... No. Marchi. Boom. Tries to throw a hit to Brusque. Gets that one loose. Marchi completely gives up on it, but we're going to the box anyway. Damn. It was a slash. Eh? Yeah. Jake to Brusque with the slash. All right, we got Copper and Dvorak, man. Devo. Devo and the cop. And we win the faceoff. That's good. Get oh, what have you done with your life? Come on now. You know what? We're not even just... We're not even clearing the puck. We're just getting it up to Copper. Copper's in the zone. He's got a partial breakaway. Every time I tell you to go backhand, you do not listen. That back to Roy. Roy goes to take a shot. That doesn't work. Kuznetsov rushing down the ice. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Right in front. Jarvis. Nice stop. Every single shot they take is for a rebound. I've noticed that. Every time they take a shot, they go, they, they aim for a rebound. Okay, Schenner's got it. Whips it across. Matt Roy, wind and fire. That's all the way down the ice. We got to get wholesale line changes. Coppers chasing down Svetch. And now we'll go for that line change. Our bench is on the other side. Okay. Kuzi tries to get through Middleton. Doesn't work. Toss it around the net. Brandstrom. Uh, ooh, took a bit of a hit there. Gets that one across. Ah, I was trying to go for Barrett Hayton, but it didn't work. All right, Jarvis in the zone. Middleton stopping up. Oh, nice pickoff. Nice pickoff. Gets it over to Dickinson. Dickinson gets that one all the way up to Barrett Hayton. Barrett Hayton cuts in, cuts in, cuts across. Oh, and takes an absolute devastating hit. But it leads to a power play. Fetch is going to the box. Okay, I'm all right with that. What do we got, baby? Jay Dick. Jay Dick, he's he's climbing up the list too. Orloff leads the parade. DMAC back on the ice. We're still trying to get Marchi on the board here. DMAC with a face-off win. One T. No, it wasn't even a one-timer. Marchi, steal that one away. Jay Dick gets it back. DMAC whips it across. And yeah, Domi, no! Full pressure. No, we're not gonna be able to hold the line. And there's Jack Drury. Watch the freaking stick. Drury, and then he's looking for anyone to pass who gets it over to, did that say Nikita Zaitsev? All right, Orloff, get this thing up to Marchi. I said, we're on the power play. We got to start acting like it. Stopping up. Gets it to Domi. Domi, Domi, Domi. Cross to Dimac from an impossible angle. Back to the point. Orloff, through traffic. That one doesn't make it through. And there's DeBrusque. They're going to be able to get it down the ice, but Orloff's going to get there first. One thing I've noticed as well about this team, we have a relatively slow team. Like, that was bad. Natchez with a shot. Big save. Marchi, boom, tries to throw a hit on Zaitsev. We're having trouble taking it away from him, though. And DMAC is going to get down the ice as well. So that is 100% like a wasted power play. Really got to turn infinitely faster than you're turning, though. That is unacceptable. All right, we got that one back. Marchi stole it out of the corner. DMAC's got it. D-Max got it. Cutting in front. Take the shot. It's loose. Ooh, threw a hit after, too. All right, we got Orloff backing off. They're just going to dump her. Dumping and chasing. Dumping and chasing. That's what they do. At least they chase when they dump, though. That's the other, one of the big problems is, like, we, we dump, we don't chase. All right, Domi. Are you getting tired at all? Like, what's up? He's not getting off the ice. Over to Fast. Nice stop by Dostal. Throw it out. Orloff gets it back. Up to Domi. Domi gets that one to Bastion. Bastion gets it across to Lindblom. Lindblom in the zone. Stopping up. Ta uh, absorbs the hit. That's something I noticed like really doesn't work uh, nearly as well in this game as it has in like past NHL games. Is the whole like get it in the zone and uh, like spin around immediately. Oh my god, that was terrible. Dostal, he's not even going to throw it out. I'm like, okay, we need to get, like, line changes going here, man. But then it's like, it's, I couldn't pay attention to both things at the same time. I shouldn't have done it when we were in our zone, but it's like, Domi was not getting off the ice. He just, like, refused to leave the ice. 
So towards the end of the second period, we are still up 2-1. to one. Dostal, 22 saves on 23 shots. Orloff's across. Nice stop. To I told him to toss that one out, but he didn't. It's all right, though. Dostal's look solid in this one. We just can't... We just can't be giving up too much here. That's the problem, like I said before. Once the other team gets a goal on us, it seems like they just... It's non-stop. But with DMAC in control, it looks like we are doing a little bit better on the face-offs. Gensel with a shot. I think that one goes off a of body. Oh, and Copper steals it away. Gets that one back to Barrett Hayton. He's going to back it off to his defender, Orloff. Orloff gets that one across to Jay Dick. Jay Dick in the zone. We're going to whip that one around behind the net. Barrett Hayton not going to be able to get there in time, but it comes loose. Cop back to the point. Orloff winds and fires. Dickinson, you got to get there, buddy. Okay, I'm trying to knock them off the puck, and it's just like they're not allowing me to do this very nicely at all. All right, here comes Jake Gensel. Wind and fire. His stick snapped. That was a blessing in freaking disguise. Orloff, you got to start moving, buddy. Barrett, oh, well, back it off, Barrett. What? I just not even telling you to pass it that way in any shape or form. Oh, there you go. Jay Dick gets it up to Cop. Cop finds his way in. We're just take the shot. That one goes wide of the net. Are we going to? No, we're not going to be able to hold the zone, though. Jay Dick, buddy, you are way deep in there. There we go. There we go. Throw it. No. What? In what world did that make any sense? Get away from me. How is that not a penalty? Blah. Why did you dead stop? Okay, the game's really starting to, like, work against me here. Roy. Oh, the period's over. Was that on net? <laughs> that was relatively impressive. All right. So, second period is over. Lucas Dostal, for the most part, looked pretty solid. We're being outshot 24-20 to in this game so far. But we are ahead 2-1 to after 2. That's something that doesn't really happen. We got a goal. We got scored on. The score is starting to get a little lower, I've noticed. It's like with every passing game, the score is coming down a little bit, which is what I wanted. I'm not really messing with the settings too much. DeBrusque, over to Domi. Domi tries for the low shot on net. It doesn't work. Can I control anyone that makes sense for a second here? And we're going back to the power play. Definitely something they got to fix in NHL 25 is just how many friggin' penalties there are. Like, it's, it's absolutely un, it's unacceptably high. Way too many penalties. So here we go. D to the measle. Getting a lot of ice time today. What do we got, baby? D Mac. Wins the faceoff. Back to DeBrusque. DeBrusque. Going to bank this one. Get her deep to Domi. Domi looking for anything in front. We're doing a little spinnerectomies. Back to Orloff. Low shot on net. Deflected in indeed to the Mac with his second goal. And it's in the same goddamn game. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Two career goals. Both tonight. We got a 3-1 to one lead. That one was a freaking power play goal as well. So is DMAC a power play specialist. Look at this. Boom. Oh, what a sexy deflection, baby. So we got to hold Carolina off the board. Maxi Pad Domi with three points on the season now. Copper Dickinson, you know, like Barrett Hayton. Those guys are really, really leading this team offensively right now. Orloff looking solid right now. DeBrusque, just get her deep, buddy. That one ends up bouncing right in front of the... Oh, Marchie. I thought I was going to be able to steal that one away. Not... For what? What was that for? cross-checking oh boy you just can't you can't let me have nice things can you maxi pad domi go into the penalty box that's terrible that's so bad <laughs> and then after this yeah we're gonna sim one one more game and then then we're we're gonna call it after this one okay shenner get that one around the net we'll get it to cop cop whip her down the ice that's what we want man that's what we want to see so who are we controlling currently Okay, it was Christian Dvorak. Seth Jarvis. Going to get that one up to KK. KK. Coming into the zone. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Jarvis with a shot. Nice stop. Roy gets it back. Let's just get this thing out of the zone. Whip it up to Christian Dvorak, who I don't even know if he's ever gotten on the board before. That's a penalty, and I super didn't do that. It's like I cut in front of the net and was like, take a shot. He was like, no. I think instead what we'll do is we'll let go of the puck and then freaking hit the guy. It's like, that's so dumb. That is so stupid. It is beyond comprehension. So we officially have Jake DeBrusque on the ice, apparently. Jake DeBrusque, the lone penalty killer for us right now. That is alarming. And he won the faceoff. That's the craziest part. 
cut back out in front. Kate Middleton down the ice. Buddy knocks it right out of the air. We got Eric Brandstrom killing a penalty as well. That's scary all on its own. Nice stop by Dostal. Middleton, we tried to steal that one away and it was no good. DeBrusque tries to shoot it out of his own zone. Can't get her done. Now, out in front. Whip her down the ice. There you go. Okay, Brands Brandstrom, you need to back up. I'm trying to control Brandstrom so I can stop him from like being a forward. Brady Skajay. We can't knock him off it. There's Aho with a shot. Nice save. Back out in front. Slavin gets it across to Aho again. Shea. Nice stop by Dostal. Kill the penalty off. Kill the penalty off. All right. Get this one out. Barrett Hayton down the ice. That's going to bounce right on goal. And Steady Freddy can't find it. <laughs> that ended up being dangerous in front of the net. Sebastian Aho. Okay. They lost control of it. Barrett Hayton gets it back. And we are off to the races, baby. Whip. Oh, we're getting around our man. Who do we got? Turn him back. Okay, avoided that check. We'll get that one across to Roy. Matt Roy with a shot. It's up in the air. Fogues. Can you get there, buddy? He does. Cut in front of the net. Backhander. Doesn't make it, but he gets it back. Gets it back. Get away from me. Across to Roy. Nice save. He just wouldn't go where I needed him to go. All right, so we're back to even strength. All's well. Oh, Roy, you lost all your momentum on that one, but a nice recovery. Uh, Barrett Hayton. Where is this puck even going at this point, man? It's just bouncing all over the place. There's Copper. Burnsy, is that a trip? It's not. Okay, get rid of this thing. Gets it up to Jay Dick. Burnsy is not faster than Jason Dickinson. Get that one across to Andrew Copper. with a nice shot and a nice stop. Barrett Hayton. Do a little spinorectomy. Nice shot. Easy save for Steady freaking Freddy. And, you know, we'll go back to the number ones. I know that the fourth line hasn't had a lot of time on the ice. And that's fine. I don't mind. We are getting a ways through the season here, man. We're getting into her. And the next episode... Ah, oh, I bet. That was, sorry, that was just like a hand jerk. Dummy. This is Brady Shea. Can't do anything with that one. Marchie down to DeBrusque. Oh, yeah, you gotta watch out for cross-checking. Every hit's a penalty. Orlov throws that one up to Shenner. Shenner up to Domi. Domi gets it up to Marchie. So, Marchie in the zone. Cutting across. Cutting across. Oh, that was a close call. Get it deep. Get it deep. Domi holds on to it. We're going back to the power play again. Oh, my goodness. It is like... It, well, they wanted, the, they wanted the number one forwards out there. It is out of control. The penalties are absolutely out of control in this game. Like, it's just, it's just nonstop. It's like, dude, it's the, what, fifth game of the season? Come on. Calm down. We're 0-4. We could potentially win our first ever game. Brandstrom gets that one. Gets it across to Roy. Roy in front. Oh, I was hoping for D-Mac on a rebound on that one. Boom! Lemieux. I tried to take it off him. It didn't work. He's going to get that one across to Slavin. Oh, Burnsy, I just almost tripped you. Tried to hit him. Didn't work. Here comes Jack Drury. Over to Burnsy. Burnsy with a shot. Big save by Lucas Dostal. And Marchie's going to pick it up. Get it across to Brandstrom. Brandstrom to Roy. Roy to DMAC. DMAC avoids the check. He's in the zone. Is he going for a trick? Is he going for a hat trick? He was going for it, but it didn't work out that way. Get it across to your man. That's not who I wanted to pass to. We'll get it back to the point. Brandstrom in front. Another deflection. Where is it? Demon's going for his first career freaking hat trick. Oh. <laughs> and they want to leave this line on the ice. How did that not go in? It so ended up behind the goalie. They're not even going to show the right clip anyway. That's so dumb. <laughs> okay, DMAC has like come to life here. 3-1 to one lead for Mississauga. We need a face-off win. We didn't... We did get it, kind of. Domi gets it back. Okay, across to Roy. Roy throws it on net. DMAC goes for the tip again. Whip it around behind the net. DMAC out front. Marchi. Oh, uh, goalie's down. Goalie's out. Domi, get it back. He did. He did. He did. He did. Other side of the net. Roy shoots it and puts it in the net, baby. That's another power play goal, and it's 4-1. to one. First of the season. For Matt Roy, I don't know who got what on that one. But I think we go back to the number one defense. We'll go with line two. Look at this, Maxi Pad Domi across. That could have been goalie interference real easy. But it was all Domi to, to take that one away and make the magic happen. It is four to one. Lucas Dostal playing easily his best game. And by easily, I mean it's not even close. That was an interesting uh, passing choice there, D-Mac. What'd you do that for? All right, nice little play. Don't take a penalty, though. Play smart. Play S-smart. Okay, Buddy's stuck behind his own net. Copper. 
Gets that one up to Barrett Hayton. Hayton's gone. Partial break, partial break, partial break, partial break, and it's no good. Back to the point. Roy again. That one's deflected in front. You know me. I'm heavy on the deflections. Love my deflection goals. Svetch bringing that one into the zone. Just play it smart. Just play it smart. He gets that one across to Pesci. Can't get the shot off. Great save. That could have been like a for sure, for sure goal. Okay, let's slow this game down a bit. Toss it around behind your own net. Slow this game down. We're near the end. And we got a wicked lead. No icing on the play. I like that. So there's Andrew Kopp. Pesci. Oh my god, I lined him up too. I just didn't get... Did not get the hit on him. Barrett Hayden gets tripped. And we're back to the power play again. Don't get me wrong. I'm loving all the goals we're scoring. But it's... They're, it's egregious. It's a little excessive. It's a little It's a little much. So, back again. Domi, Marchi, and DMAC. So, DMAC and Marchi officially, they have the same number of points this season. DMAC, can he be solid on the faceoff? Yes, he can. Wins that one across. Marchi, so one timer, and he finally puts home his first as a member of the Mississauga Riptide, baby. Jonathan Marchi, so right on the board, right where we needed him to be. Look at this guy. Beautiful. Right off the draw. And that's another point for DMAC. That's a three-point night. Oh, look at the one T. Look at the one-timer. I can't believe it took him this long to get his first goal. And it was a big one. We were due for some offense here, man. So DMAC immediately climbing up the list here. Five to one for Miss or Saggy. Dummy on the faceoff. Assisted by Roy and McDonald. Domi can't win the draw. Marchi watching his man. Watching his... I lost him for a second there. Stalzi bringing it in. Stalzi on the... Nice shot, but a nice stop by Dostal. He still looked very solid in this game. Tried to toss that one over to Domi. Man, it's the camera angle. I can't see where everybody is. Dabrask and Marchi are stuck on each other. For Oh, my God. Everybody's stuck on everybody. All right, here we go. Jacob Slavin into the zone. Let him take the shot. Nice stop. Roy gets it back. Get this thing out of here. I don't mind my goaltender facing shots, man. All right, what do we got? Get it over to... Ma oh, went over to Marchessault for the one-timer again. Didn't work. DeBrusque steals that one away. Did we take it? We did not. Ooh, big pass up to Marty Natchez. Not someone you want. One-on-one -on -one with your goaltender. Big stop by Dostal, though. He's up for the challenge. Whoop, get that one across to DeBrusque and just wire it down the ice. Marchi's got a little bit of juice left. Uh, I was going to try and take it out on Slavin, but it didn't work out that way. And now we got Brandstrom coming back, playing defense. We got Yoki. Haven't really seen much of Yoki in this game. Over to Fogues. Fogues, back to Yoki Haru. Yoki gets that one up to D to the Mac. All the hero of the day cutting in front again. And that one. I was really, I'm like, okay, I'm really, I'm really hoping for that hat trick goal. The next game we got is the LA Kings. That's going to be a tough one. I really thought Carolina was going to be the toughest challenge out of all the games we got coming up. But it was like, we, we've we kind of dominated them. Can't win that one. I know, DMAC, you can't win every draw. D to the measle, boom, takes his aggression out on Gino Kuznetsov. Here comes Jesper Fast with a shot. Nice stop by Dostal. Trying to throw a hit on my guy. Throw another hit on him. No, it didn't work. Fogues gets down, and I put... Yoki puts that one into his own net. If you look close enough, you'll see Henry Yoki Haru reaches back and knocks that one backwards into his own net. It's like here... See? As soon as it's in the air, it's like he swings at it. So that puck goes off his stick. I think it shatters his stick. No, it didn't. But, yeah, look. He bats it into his own net like a dumbass. What are you doing, Yoki? Am I going to have to get rid of you? Do you have any idea how good of a game Dostal has been having? Like, he saved that puck. There's 40 seconds left. There's no reason for this. Don't make me rag this thing. Don't make me win this draw and rag this puck for 40 seconds. Now, it's why are you making the stupidest passes possible? Okay. Stay in your own goddamn side, Yoki. Jesus. All right, whip this thing up the ice. Get it up to Warren Fogel. Here we go. Oh, and there's a penalty coming. Act surprised. Act surprised. Turns back. No. And there's that another penalty coming. It's five on three already. Still got it. Still got it. Back out in front. And we're going to bank that one off the boards. DMAC gets it. DMAC gets it. Go for it. No, there's no one timer. That one's loose in front. Roy with a big chance. Back to the point. Just keep the play alive. Keep the play alive. Okay, it's five, five on four. Is that what it's going to be? 
Something like that. I don't know. There's a hundred people in the penalty box right now. I know I just took one. So it's it's a pretty sure it's a four on three. Or no, it's just a straight up power play with eight seconds left. Dude, our power play's been so lethal. This is gonna ruin our power play percentage. Alright, here they come. Four seconds. They're just gonna throw whatever they got at the net. Orlov's there. Boom. Throw the hit. First win in franchise history, baby. For the Mississauga Riptide, who take down the powerful Carolina Hurricanes. That was definitely one we needed, man. That was one we needed. All right, Lucas Dostal was absolutely a star in this game. Was an absolute stud. That's beautiful. A beautiful thing to behold, my friends. So, back to the menu where the shots were 35 apiece. We went four for seven on the power play. They went 0 for 4 in a 5-2 victory. Lucas Dostal could have been the first star. I think the first star of the game is going to be DMAC. 100%. D2 the measles. Four hits, two goals, one assist. That's the type of player DMAC is. All right, so let's take a... He was still a minus one in this game somehow. Oh, because every goal he goes on the power play, yeah. Warren Fogle finally gets his first of the year by Henry Yokiharyu. D to the Mac in the second gets his first career goal by Jonathan Marcheseau and Jake DeBrusque. Then in the third, one minute in, D-Mac with his second career goal by Dmitry Orlov and Maxi Pad Domi. And then Matt Roy gets his first of the year by Max Domi. Marchi gets his first of the year by Matt Roy and D to the Mac. And then with 40 seconds left in the game, Jesper Fast puts one home because why not? <laughs> That makes me very angry. I think in the next game, you got to go with Dostal again. We're going to sim one game, and then I do want to check on our guys. Actually, you know what? The LA Kings, which team is doing better? Okay, out of the... Uh, so the Sharks are seventh. The Kings are fifth. Okay, so yeah, you know what? Uh, we're going to keep Dostal in the net up against the LA Kings. We have central scout rankings. We can see uh, what's good here. Or the draft class where, yeah, that's right, Henrik Silvegaard. We still got, that's the thing. There's pretty much, like, no point in looking at, ooh, Aaron Kivi Haru. Didn't he really fall in the draft, though? I know, like, in the games he looks really solid, but he fell, like, really bad in the draft, right? Wasn't there, like, it was, like, injury problems or something, and he fell, like, crazy? I'm not going to look at that right now because there's no point. I am going to simulate past the... Whoops, I am going to simulate past the uh, fifth game of the season. We'll do the times eight simulation for this last one. I want to check on all our created dudes, check and see how everybody's doing. And that's where we're going to call it. It is immediately one nothing for LA. Kopi puts it past Lucas Dostal in the first. Not what you want to see. Not cool, man. Not cool. It's 2 nothing. Okay. Maybe it was a mistake going with Dostal back-to-back -back nights. I don't know, but I don't like the fact that it's 2-0 LA after one. So first period's over. Let's get into the second. Can we, like, get any kind of offense on this team? Like, this team seems to have really terrible offense. Like, in that game that I just played, we had fantastic offense, but the other team took a million penalties. Now we've got... Okay, there we go. Maxi Pad gets on the board. It's a 2-1 game. Could we go for two wins in one goddamn video? I mean, it would have taken us a very long time to get there. Dostal is having a good game here. He is playing well. I know we played better defense in that last game as well. So third period, they're on the power play. We killed it off. That's very good. They're on the power play again. All right, what do we got? Come on, tie this game up, dude. Oh, my God. Drew Doughty makes it 3-1. to one. Now, we get a power play. Can't do anything with it. Can we get more than one goal? Come on, guys. Come on. More than one. 17. Yeah, it's a three to one loss. So the one and five. Mississauga Riptide. But Dostal did have a quality start. Max Domi gets his second of the year by Dmitry Orlov and Jake DeBrusque. I don't know who's going to lead this team at the end of the season. At the moment, it's kind of looking like it could be Jason Dickinson. Could be like Andrew Kopp or something. We're going to go to edit lines and set everything up for the next game. that or For the next time that we jump into a video. So we're going to swap Dostal and Mersey. Uh, we should probably swap Wolfie and Salminen just for now, just for those back-to-backs. And then, you know, we'll, 
we'll go from there. So we're going to advance day, one day. We've now, like I said, we got a heavy schedule to start. What I'm going to do is go to player search. I want to look at the uh, guys that we created. We'll go watch list. We got four guys. So D to the Mac for the Mississauga Riptide is absolutely the most valuable. He's a minus three right now. But I mean, the kid's pretty damn good. All right. So in six games, he's got two goals, one assist, all in one game. Two goal, two power play goals, three. Every point he has is on the power play. Like I said, playing an average of 12.48 a night, I'm fine with that. 60% on the faceoffs, eight hits, one block, one giveaway, two takeaways. It's like no advanced numbers at all. It's like in games you, you don't jump into or whatever. It's like there's no advanced numbers. Uh, here's another one. Matthew Siemens, created player, depth forward, but he's playing third line. He's playing like third line minutes for the Florida Panthers. He has six hits, three giveaways, one takeaway. He's only taking a couple of faceoffs. He just has the one goal. Not really taking a lot of shots for a sniper. Robert Baudouin, the Boston Bruin. Three years. I can't believe it was three years. And he would fit everywhere on this team. He would be a fantastic addition to this team. But he has a goal. He has an assist. He's got two points. He's a plus one. He's playing 19 and a half minutes a game. Eight blocks. Only three hits. Two giveaways. Two takeaways. And then after that, we got... Brent Vanilla. Four games played, four goals, three assists for the Portland Winter Hawks in the minors. He was the sixth overall pick by the Chicago Blackhawks. He's very loyal, keeps emotions in check, but is not driven to win. So he's playing fantastically in the minors right now. Just upping that stock like crazy in the WHL. Yeah, that's just a fantastic season. He's going to grow, definitely be into the 70s by next season. But... I think, yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I might even do another one of these episodes like later tonight. I might wait until like the, everybody goes to bed or something and just do like a late night one, maybe get to like 10 games into the season, 11 games into the season, something like that. I also do need to start working on the custom league thing too. So there's that. This has been a very long video already. So I think this is where I'm going to end things right now. And I'll see you guys very soon when I do another Mississauga Riptide franchise mode. We don't want to win right now. We want to be a terrible team. We want to grow next season. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's going to do it for me for this one. If you stayed this long, I salute you. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you haven't already, there's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.